Sign up at the end of this review to get my personal gear list. Hi there, Tony from the Acoustic Letter. Here today we're going to look at a very special Sinker Redwood Top Dreadnought from Taylor. Before we get into the details of this instrument, I will encourage you to sign up for the Acoustic Letter. Click the link below. You will be very happy that I asked you to do so. On to this Taylor Dreadnought with Sinker Redwood Top. We've done this before. This is actually one of our favorite combinations. And the Sinker Redwood Top is something that is kind of like our little, maybe our little secret. But anyways, this particular Dreadnought has something extra special about it. Not only does this particular Dreadnought have a Sinker Redwood Top, but it's extra special because it has Madagascar Rosewood back and sides, a first for one of our Taylor Sinker Dreadnoughts. We have ebony binding like we did on the other ones, but it's offset with this really beautiful dark red purfling. And on the back, our center strip is also ebony, offset in the red purfling as well. Also, this particular Dreadnought is a deeper body, which if you've seen our other dreadnoughts with sinker tops, they're pretty bassy, they're pretty profound. This one, having an extra quarter inch, is like, it's like one of our sinker dreads on steroids, basically. We have all the other usuals. Ebony bridge with a little inlay, ebony pins, bone saddle, ebony fingerboard, no inlay on the front, but white dots on the player's side. Beautifully inlaid ebony overlay headstock. Beautiful gold Goto 510 tuners with black buttons to make one heck of a nice looking guitar and one heck of a good sounding guitar. So let's give this thing a play so you can hear that extra body depth on that sinker redwood top. Thanks for checking out our Taylor Sinker Redwood Topped Extra Deep Dreadnought. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave them below. And again, don't forget to sign up for the Acoustic Letter.